Hello residents of Meeple Town. Today we're going to be looking at the second part of the expansion of Roll for the Galaxy Rivalry, uh, which was, as we mentioned in the other video, given to us graciously by Rio Grande Games for a review copy because we love this game. And Yeah, we do. So we're actually just going to jump right into it. Uh, the first thing you're going to notice is this giant board. Let's make a deal. I'm going to say nothing about this. This is the deal part of the expansion. I'm going to say nothing about this until we make a deal, uh, and we'll show you that very quickly right up front. What's, we're not going to be on? stacking anything or anything like that, right? Nope, it's all random. All random. All, all right, right so let's we're, do we're, it. We're assuming that you know the game, and you also would notice that neither one of us have our tiles on the board. Well, whoops a daisy. Well, whoops a daisy. I'm just going to grab these right, two, and I am going to, let's uh, do, I like them alien technologies. <laughs> so let's do that, especially since I already have one. All right. All right, so the first thing we're going to do that we would normally do is roll these dice. We've actually already rolled them, so we're, we're going to go ahead and just roll our dice. All righty. And take the actions for these. And you're also going to notice that there is a, sec a sixth spot on this board, and it's the deal spot. Spot. And I'll explain what that is in just a second. Oh, what a roll! We also don't have our screens because we're really close together. <laughs> but we're not going to cheat. We're going to we're going to make sure we're just looking at our boards. We're not going to cheat. And ready to reveal? Yes. All right. Excellent. And then in a two-player game, you're going to take this black die, which if you're only familiar with the base game, this is the leader die. You're going to roll that. And this will determine, you'll pick both of those to flip over. So we're going to do explore. We have ship. And then I picked deal. All right. And, and I did settle. And you did settle, which is perfect for me because I picked settle, but I did not actually mm. choose that as an action. Well, look at that. Look at that early die roll right there. So uh, it's pretty <laughs> obvious what I'm going to do. I'm just going to settle it all. Boom. We got that. That was amazing. That doesn't happen very much in gaining that alien technology. Here is your yellow die to put on the board. Oh, that's amazing. All right, and now I'm going to deal, and then I'll explain what this means. So you have the deal board right here, and you can have three different deals that are going on. What you're going to do is if you take the deal action, you're going to take your die, and you're going to put it on the one side of the, I'm sorry, over on this side of the <laughs> Where board. Where are you putting that, Over dang? here to match your color. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick two of these dice, and these are random every time. Um, the one is going to be the, the one that you're going to pay, and the other one's going to be the one that you get. So in this case, what I'm gonna do, since right off the bat, we have uh, this nice little one uh. here. You've got the black die, which gives you, this is better, okay? The black die is the premium, premium die. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a white die, my home die, from anywhere, and I'm gonna discard this, I'm gonna get rid of it. Get gone. And then I'm also going to have to pay a credit, and then at the end of this action, because it brought me down to zero, that actually goes straight back up to one as part of the new rule set as well. You don't have to wait. And then, this is the good part, this is the part that I get, which is a Pretty good. red military die, and then a novelty die, and those are going to go into my citizenry, and then I can use them from now on. Okay, so that's how a deal works. It's not too shabby. Also, you know, mentioned that, how that works. Oh, we'll, I'm sorry. We'll go ahead and move I kind of cheated there. So you know, since, you're trying to get more. Since I made the deal, since I opened a deal is what it's called, I moved mine to the back. This is the uh, the track that shows you who's going to be able to, to take their initiation, who's going to be able to take that first deal action. So I'll go ahead and explain what happens later on in the game. So there are actually right now, since we're done with all of our, uh, our actions, mm -hmm. this is going to mature which means it's gonna move up on the track. Then the next round will move up one more, and then if we don't remove them or close the deal, then it's going to be moved into that pile, and then this die will go into the citizenry. What you can do, let's assume that I'm gonna do this the next round, is I can uh, take the deal action, and then when I do that, I can put it on this side, and so, or I could do the same or, thing. Or John, or any, anyone can deal. close the deal. That's exactly right. And when that happens, this means that you're going to have to pay this side to gain this. Um, oh, you know what? I cheated a little bit because when you use the premium die, you actually have to pay, pay which an additional you credit. You know what? Meeple Town is going to forgive you. No, nope, just I can't do it. You can't. <laughs> uh, I cannot have this as my win. All right, so I'll just oh, take the. I cannot I'll tell a lie. <laughs> I'll take the. Uh, I'll take the red die. And so what happens is you just did an orange one. 
<laughs> so you're cheating again, Diddy. I'm having a hard time seeing here. All right, so I probably messed that up, but but if you were to put one on this side, then you have to pay this to gain this. Now this is not necessarily a good deal to make at the beginning of the game, but later on it might work if you need to get rid of. Let's say this tile was here or this die was here, and I wanted to, I had a lot of red military dice, yeah, and I wanted to get rid of one. And I could do that to gain two credits and then grab a tile from the board. So there's a lot of different interaction on in how those dice play out. Exactly. And that's that's kind of the essence of yeah. of, of uh, the deal part of this. Now you're going to see that there are going to be some tiles that you're going to gain throughout the game. These are generic tiles, which is you know one development and one whoops, I'm sorry, one development and one world tile. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you're going to be gaining those, and that's something that's special to this expansion as well. Absolutely. So we uh, did a video for the first part of the expansion. The Orb Technology. Orb Technology. And we also have a Final Thoughts video. So if you click on the I, you can watch both of those videos to know all that's included in this game and hear our final thoughts and our rating for this expansion. Absolutely. So thanks for coming down to Meeple Town. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to follow us on Twitter at Meepletown Games, and connect with us on the Meepletown Guild, guild number 3407, at boardgamegeek.com, and also subscribe to our podcast and YouTube channel. And until next time, thanks for coming down to Meepletown.